learn about the return of a local music festival. Yeah, the Strange Fruit Music Festival is this Saturday in LaBauer Park. This annual event is hosted by the Triad-based Strange Fruit Foundation. And while the event is free to attend, donations to the organization are strongly encouraged. So let's say good morning to Cyril Howell Jr. He is the founder and creative director of the Strange Fruit Foundation. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Let's just start with the overall mission of your organization. What do you want people to know? Yeah, so Strange Fruit Foundation is basically here uh, to provide uh, opportunities of value to black musicians and artists in general, and also advocate uh, for, uh, you know, just grassroots musicians across the city, getting live music thriving in, this, in the city in the triad. So the, uh, the event that's coming up this weekend is the third annual event, uh, Cyril. Talk about this year's lineup. Yeah, this year's lineup is going to be uh, filled with very eclectic vibes uh, that people will be able to enjoy. Uh, we'll be having jazz and soul uh, from uh, Destiny Stone, who's also going to do a Nina Simone tribute. Uh, we have Go-Go performed by Alter Ego Band. We're also going to have Africa Unplugged. They do um, African percussion, as well as a hip hop band, the Nubian Collective, which is the band that I lead. Um, so it'll be a lot of great music. Uh, we also have grassroots um, artists. Uh, we had a program called New Finds that we've uh, got grassroots artists, and we're going to have a band behind them playing, and they'll get to present during the festival as well. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Eclectic vibe. I like that too. Sounds mm -hmm. like a good old time, but we are um, aware that you need some volunteers. So what are different ways that people can help you guys out on Saturday? Yeah, if they go to our website and just uh, click um, underneath Strange Fruit Festival, they'll see a link for volunteers. Uh, we need stage hands. We need people to be artist liaisons. We need uh, people to work the merchandise booth and the welcome booth. Uh, also, the Bucket Brigade is going to be going around collecting information and uh, also collecting donations that will be needed for further programming throughout the year. Okay, so folks, if you heard that and you're able to help out this weekend, definitely go to their website to look for more information there. Sarah, are there other events or programs that the Foundation hosts coming up that you want to hit on? Uh, yeah, um, like I said, we uh, do the new finds programming, which um, specifically grabs artists who uh, may not have an opportunity to perform on a main stage otherwise. Um, so that's an opportunity for artists to, to get with us and we take them through an artist development process and everything and, and the artists that we have are going on to the festival. Um, so that's something that we're going to do again this year um, and, and we're gonna also make that an annual um, event as well as our live music initiative where we throw up shows across the city at different venues like uh, Flat Iron or, um, you know, other venues, um, as well as artist development workshops that we're putting into place. Sarah, can you touch on how important this weekend's concert is for your organization? How does it support your mission? Uh, it's, it's very important. This is actually uh, the start and the inception of uh, whenever we decided that we wanted to do something for the community. Um, you know, I've, I've traveled and, and seen um, other cities with, with big festivals and everything, and I just thought, man, it would be nice for us to have something like that here. Uh, but as well, <clears throat> you know, being a, a, a black organization, you know, uh, sometimes we lack resources. And, uh, you know, there's been a history of your voice not being heard and things like that. So that's where the concept of Strange Fruit, which was a song that Nina Simone sung, as well as Billie Holiday, and they, they didn't want them to perform it in certain places. Um, so we didn't want to create that space um, for people like us to be able to be on uh, in bigger productions and well-organized productions and things like that. We appreciate you joining our show this morning to share more about your mission. And we hope for the very best on Saturday. For everyone at home tuning in, the Strange Fruit Music Festival is coming up Saturday, April 13th. Performances begin at 2 p.m. inside LaBauer Park. It is not ticketed, but donations are certainly encouraged and appreciated to support them. To learn more, visit strangefruitfoundation.org.